Welcome students. Today we are going to learn how to critically evaluate a website. We will use the work of Dr. Bernadette Dwyer in order to do this. The website I have chosen to evaluate is the Help Save the Endangered Pacific Northwest Tree Octopus. The first step is to scan the perimeter for authority. By authority, I am referring to the author or creator of the website. So I should first look to see if the author is clearly identified. For this website, it is difficult to even find the author. However, if I click on the frequently asked question link down here at the bottom, I am taken to a site where the author vaguely answers questions in a satiric or facetious fashion. Here I can find some of the information I am looking for. The organization that sponsors the site is Zapato Productions Interdimensional, which is not an organization for which I am familiar with as reputable. The author does not offer any credentials or a CV, but does allow you to contact him if you would like. Now, if I were to do a quick Google search of Lyle Zapata, I would be given a number of options. And if I scroll down and click on the Wikipedia entry for Lyle Zapata and the Northwest Tree Octopus, I can find that it is an internet hoax that was created by Lyle Zapata. So after my initial step of scanning for authority, there is already a number of red flags that are coming up. The next step in evaluating a website is to dig deeper for accuracy. Are there references on this site? If I are to click on the media link here, I can see a number of links to different books, but none of these are references. They are all simple fictitious novels and works that mention Octopi. I could then ask myself, is this information consistent with what I already know about octopi? And no, in this case it is not, since I know that octopi are marine animals, and this website is advocating that this octopus lives in trees. I could also ask myself, is there any clues that tell me that this information is true? And there isn't really on this website any clues that specifically tell me that it's true, but there are some that tell me that it's not true. For example, here at the very bottom of the website, it states that this site is not associated with any school or educational organization, a huge red flag, other than the Calvinic University branch of Wild Haggis Conservation Society. Now, I don't know what the Calvinic University branch of Wild Haggis Conservation Society is, but I know haggis is a food, and I know that Kelvin was a scientist in the 1800s, so this is also not consistent with my prior knowledge. Next, we want to look for details that show reliability. Is this site based on facts? Although it lists this information as though it were facts, none of the information is supported by evidence, and therefore it is uncorroborated facts. The language used is also a big clue of the unreliable nature of this website. Looking back at the frequently asked questions link that we saw before, you can see that the language used here when answering questions is comical in nature, vague or very frivolous. For example, when he says, I am Lyle Zapato, he doesn't really reference himself as an expert. He's just answering in a silly way. Another example is when he's answering the question, why is the logo an octopus with shoes? I would ask myself, why is this question even relevant? Most importantly, the language does not seem plausible nor reasonable. Although there have been a number of red flags or warnings that question the validity of this website already, let's complete the final step of critically evaluating a website. This step is to scrutinize for support. Here, the website does not do too bad of a job, as the site is easy to navigate with its navigational tabs. It is free of spelling and grammar errors, as far as I can tell. 
and there are also multimodal elements since there is text, picture, and video. Here's an example of some pictures. And then there's also some videos. However, this brings us to an important point. The look, aesthetics, and feel of the website is often what people use most to judge a website. Does it look professional? However, this is perhaps the least important. We need to make sure when critiquing or even choosing websites to use to base our information off of that we are evaluating the content of the website itself and not just its appearance. When you critically evaluate your own website, keep these pointers in mind and continue to ask yourself the key focus questions to make sure that you are using a valid, accurate website.